I am super late with this video. This is the Season 3 My Modular Journey conclusion episode where I take a few minutes to review the year, which would be last year, <laughs> and wrap things up, preparing for what's next. I can barely comprehend how busy life has been for almost a year now. Going from having all the time in the world to play with fun music, indoor, outdoor, home improvement projects, to literally all I do is work, cook, eat, clean, and sleep. Rinse and repeat. And that's it. I blinked my eyes and it was January of 2024. I have now been authoring and recording bits of this very conclusion episode for four months. Yes, it has been a very busy year for me and not necessarily all in a good way. So let's dive in. Looking back, 2023 came on strong and went out strong, but the middle parts were a bit squishy. As you may know, Modular itself has played a major role in my awakening of music and creativity, which is precisely what I was hoping would happen when I started this journey in July of 2021, almost three years ago. Can you believe it? My Bandcamp releases have been a little slow as well, but I wanted to remix and remaster some of the tracks I used in my Sonic experiments so they sounded a little better. I managed to release two volumes of my modular journey in February and May of 2023, and the original plan was to release two more that year in September and December, but, you know, time got away from me. I also achieved a major lifelong goal in 2023, which I will proudly talk about later. I will say, despite the random calamity of life, the last few years have been really successful, and I feel extremely fortunate to be where I am today. Season 3 of My Modular Journey started out pretty fun, but quickly became a battle I could not win. One mistake I made last year was trying to kick it up a notch on my videos for Modular that ended up being a nightmare in the editing process. Trying to add more substance ended up burning me out massively. While I do enjoy adding some history or lore to my videos, it's just not worth it in the end because that's not what this journey was meant to be. It was meant to simply be, why did I buy this module and how do I plan to use it? But, you know, theatrics took over and seeing so many subscribers interested in my content, I thought I'd take a stab at being a real content creator. And let me just say, I hated it. So that won't be a problem moving forward. I am not a YouTuber, I'm just an old dude who likes documenting his musical journey. From March to May, I felt like my sanity was being tested. Pretty sure this simulation I live in <laughs> had a glitch. Between the infestation of tiny flying gnat swarms brought on by abnormally high rainfall in our otherwise arid desert, to every neighbor getting a new dog for Christmas that bellows nonstop barking down into my house, to YouTube content ID flagging every sonic experiment with a copyright claim because of white noise, to being gifted with COVID for the first time in three years after being super careful and stupidly choosing to go outside, all having to battle non-stop burnout from trying to navigate all of the above and now dealing with some after effects of my round of gentle COVID. This was an astonishing perfect storm, which even today I cannot explain. So I opted to lock the doors, draw the curtains, and hide under my covers until the storm blew over. On the very positive side, that goal I set earlier, Memorial Day of 2023, my 1972 Yamaha C7 Conservatory Grand arrived. However, the pin block was cracked and it could not be tuned, so I had to send it back. Ironically, this was also the same day I got hit with COVID and I was so sick for a week, I didn't even care that my dreams were being shredded by chaos. By mid-July, I was recovered out of quarantine and closed the deal on the next piano delivery. The 1977 Yamaha C7 arrived, and holy balls was it gorgeous. Even better than the first one. I got it tuned up and started working with it, mostly practicing my chops. It had been over 30 years since I played a real piano regularly. I was so enthralled by this, my poor modular system sat powerless for over five months. In September, I turned 60 years old. 60. This may not sound like a big deal, and really, even to me, it's just another number, but 60. The existential questions started pouring in. Am I where I need to be? Have I done what I came here to do? 
I did host a live stream on my 60th birthday, which was a lot of fun chatting with real people attending the stream. I do hope to do that more often. My turning 60 crisis only lasted a week or so, and I was back to modular full time, thanks to an epic conversation I had with one of my brother's friends, Kays, who called me to talk about modular and that conversation reignited my fires again. It was very exciting talking with somebody about all I have learned, and it made me want to go patch something up. Since then, Modular has been powered up every day, and I'm back to plugging stuff in, producing sonic experiments, and tracks for upcoming Bandcamp releases, and even purchased a few new modules, the first since February of 2023. I'm also realizing I'm about a year behind because I just finished Season 3 videos about the modules I purchased at the end of 2022. And the last episode, which was Tim Izora, which I purchased in January of 2023, and here it is. June of 2024. Wow, time is really flying, and I admit this is a little terrifying. I want to end this on two positive notes, the piano story and the plans for 2024. I have a feature film that I've kind of been working on for about a year, so I'll save the deeper details for that, but here's the short version. Sometime in the 1980s, as a piano player, keyboardist, I got this wild notion that I wanted my own grand piano. A massive, shiny, gloss black, beautiful, magical grand piano. I was in my 20s and barely had two nickels to rub together back in those days, being a struggling musician. So the idea of even affording a piano was just a fantasy. Zero money, and where would I even put a 7 foot 4, 1,000 pound piano? This became a goal. Someday. Fast forward about 15 years, and I had an actual stable career and buying my first house that literally was designed around the idea that this is where the piano will go. However, the 2000s happened, the tech industry collapsed, loss of work and the house, and that dream was once again put on hold, and I had just turned 40. Fast forward another 10 years, it is 2013, and I sat down at a local piano store and played a Yamaha C3, I think it was, and I don't know, I can't explain it. Being a keyboardist most of my life, and I don't think I'm a shitty keyboardist at all, but when I sat at the piano, I played that thing better than I had ever played a keyboard in my life. It just felt so natural. So the decision was made, I had just turned 50, and I set a goal that by the time I hit 60, I would have my piano. And this year, I turned 60. And that dream has come true. The first thing I wanted to do in 2024 is film, edit, and release a couple of non-modular projects to showcase the how I do things and finally demonstrate my custom Eurorack case builds. Both of those are mostly done now. So here we are making a conclusion, introduction, and starting the season four videos. Yes, there is an entire season's worth of new modules since the start of 2023 to talk about. So I'll be doing that as soon as I can. Hopefully I can catch up before too much time moves on. You know, laugh all you want, I still do not have gas. I have dozens of music projects in the queue to finish mixing and mastering and get posted to Bandcamp with one of them being what I hope is my first ever original music release called Awakening, a series of piano solo pieces inspired by the loss of my father, John Sr., in 2011. It's hard to imagine these tracks are already 12 years old and still haven't been released. But maybe finally, because I do have a piano now. Speaking of releasing music, I've noticed that a lot of artists put out singles as releases, and I don't know why I was stuck thinking I needed a full album of 12 tracks, as if this was still 1985. So my hope is to release some of my longer format generative tracks as singles, with some intentional music releases coming as well. By the way, I have a back catalog of around 400 songs that I've written over the past 45 years. Think about that a moment. 
45 years. I have songs that are 45 freaking years old. Does that mean they qualify for a classic rock radio station? I have zero excuses today to get in the way of publishing my own music, except of course dwindling health and a chronic lack of energy. All the tools are at my disposal. There should be nothing in my way except me. Many of these goals are rollovers from the defunct 2023. For example, I wanted to start showcasing more of my other interests besides just modular, though I say this every year. I really love my synths. I really love my VSTs and the libraries that I own, and I actually use them a lot more than I do the modular gear, and I'd like to bring some of that into focus on this channel. I want to demonstrate more of my workflows, not to show off, but to encourage discussion because I feel I am always in learning mode, and there's always another way to do something, and maybe it's even better than what I do now. Of course it is. <laughs> I don't want to scare off subscribers who are only interested in Eurorack modular content, but I think diversifying a little is the best plan for me moving forward. I find there's an interest in literally every topic you can find on YouTube or other platforms, so I'm hoping my content will continue to attract that level of interest. Sorry this conclusion video is so late, but I really have been busy and also not feeling 100% since this time last year. What's coming next should be my wrapping up a few miscellaneous projects before I start Season 4 videos to ring in the new year, six months late. As always, thank you so much for watching and subscribing to my little channel. Take care, everyone.